Drag and drop the answer buttons into the empty boxes in the table to indicate whether each of the sulfates shown is soluble, sparingly soluble, or insoluble. The solubility decreases down the group. Enthalpy changes occur when a solute dissolves in a solvent. Click on the lattice structure of the metal sulfate. The solubility of a substance depends on two factors, the lattice energy and the enthalpy of hydration. The dissolution process is assumed to take place in two stages, the breaking of the ionic bonds between the M2 plus ions and the SO4 2 minus ions is an endothermic process. The hydration of the gaseous ions M2 plus and SO4 2 minus by the water molecules is an exothermic process. Click the energy level diagram button. Click on Delta H solution. The compound is soluble in water if Delta H solution is negative. Now drag the slider to see what happens to the lattice energy and the enthalpy of hydration as we go down group 2. The decrease in hydration energy is more than the decrease in the lattice energy. This is because the size of the sulfate ion, SO4-2- is much bigger than the M2 plus ion. Even though there is an increase in size down the group from Be2 plus to Ba2 plus, the lattice energy does not decrease very much because it depends more on the SO4-2- ion. The hydration energy of the cation, M2+, decreases more as the ionic radius increases down the group. Therefore, the enthalpy of solution is less negative or more positive as one goes down the group and the solubility of the sulfates decreases. Summary The solubility of a substance depends on two factors, the lattice energy and the enthalpy of hydration. On going down the group, the solubility of the sulfates decreases because the hydration energy of the cation decreases much more than the lattice energy. This causes the enthalpy of solution to be less negative or more positive.